All right, so for this last piece, I want to uh, do a different question. So we've done time and displacement and uh, a little bit of velocity, but what I want to focus on here is final speed of the ball upon hitting the ground, okay? Um, so let's look at this question 15 and look at what, is it, what do they mean with speed? How is that slightly different than velocity? So first of all, um, let's switch over to our drawing here. Okay. So it started out going eight meters per second and going up 29.4 meters per second. Okay, um, and then it went one, two, three, four, five, six. Because it kind of went up and over. Okay, um, so that is the time. Okay, each dot represented one second intervals. So there's a number of ways we can find our velocity. So remember. All right, I keep writing these down because I know in future tests, someone's gonna get these backwards and it's, there's no coming back from that if you don't have to start with the right numbers. So we always write these down so that we keep these separate, okay? So that makes, if our change in velocity is zero, then that means every single one of these has a velocity of x of, a zero, of eight, okay? All right, because it never changes. All right, the y each time it loses 9.8. So we have our time equals six seconds. So if we go back to our stack of equations here, okay, which equation can we use that has velocity, acceleration, and time and gives us our other velocity. Okay, um, so we want, we want a velocity, we have an initial velocity, and we have an acceleration in the y, okay, and we have a time, okay? Um, and the answer to that, we want a velocity, we have a velocity, we have acceleration in the y and we have time. So that's the equation we're going to use. Okay, um, we don't have distances here. So anything with a distance was not an option here. Okay, so that only left one real possibility. All right, so that means our velocity final equals, um, oh, 29.4 plus times six. Okay, and again, those of you who have a sharp eye um, will notice that just like in our other equations, this is symmetric, okay? Which means the amount that's going up at this place is gonna be the amount that goes down at this place. Um, but we don't have to have an eagle eye if we have the correct algebra here, okay? Our V final should equal negative 29.4, okay? So those are our component vectors. But you'll notice in part C, it says speed. which does not care about direction. It wants only magnitude, which means if we have a triangle here that goes over eight and down 29.4, it wants that number, okay? And what's not on there is a tiny bit of algebra here 
that's what we need to do to finish this off. Okay, so hopefully if we do a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we get a number just over 30. Four, six. Okay, so that is the difference. When they're asking for speed, we cannot have direction, which means we have to combine our two components together again. All right, so hopefully that is a model that you can use for all the equations and that we can come back on Wednesday with um, any questions you have.